my name is Rose and welcome to my channel. Today is day two of your challenge to find your inner dancer and today we'll be focusing on opening those shoulders. to meet me today in our child's pose. So bringing our big toes together and just take the knees a little bit wide. If your knees are quite sensitive, then perhaps place a folded blanket or something underneath just for a little bit of cushioning. And then as we exhale, we'll come to walk our hands forward and just start to bow your body down to your mat. Bringing maybe your forehead down. You can place it on a block or a cushion if that's a little bit nicer. And we'll come to close our eyes just as we arrive in the present moment. And just know that there's nothing else that you need to be doing right now. Or nowhere else that you need to be, but right here, just listening to the sound of my voice. And just nice and slowly, just raise the body up a little bit and we'll just bring our knees to come to touch together. And then as you exhale, just send the sit bones back to the heels again. You'll find that this gives us, us a little bit of a different stretch. And then we're going to bring our hands back now. So forehead is on the floor and just interlace them behind our back. And then once you've done that, on an inhale, just roll the shoulders back and then straighten the arms any amount now. So we're drawing the shoulder blades together. Try not to let the shoulders sink down to the floor and think of almost as if someone was pulling your hands up to the sky, maybe. You're just away from you here. Again, starting to stretch those lovely shoulders and that chest. All the while inhaling nice and deeply through the nose. On your next inhale now, nice and slowly, connect your belly button to your spine straight away. And again, imagine someone pulling your hands up and we're going to start to slowly bring our body up now to sit on our heels. Head comes last, moving nice and slowly as we lift the chest and think of pulling the hands down to the floor, maybe into the soles of the feet to give a little massage. Take a smile at the very top and one more inhale in. And then as we exhale, release the hands. Feel that lovely flush of blood, of life back into your arms and your hands. Maybe a little stroke of the floor. Good, and on your next inhale now, sweep the fingers through and up to the sky, palms facing towards one another, wiggle those fingers, make sure they're alive. And then as we exhale, we're gonna place the right hand down on the floor next to us as we stretch over to the right, coming into a glorious side stretch. Think of grounding through that left sit bone now into the heel, we can even sway it off a little bit just to get a really good curve here. Good. On your next inhale, can you open that top shoulder any amount? Maybe smile to the sky. Exhale, one last reach over to the side. And then inhale to come back to centre. Float the right arm up to join the left. Lift up nice and tall. And then as we exhale, release the left hand down this time as we come to stretch over to the left side. 
Again, ground through that right sit bone on this side here, making a lovely curve with the body. Can we even hug those ribs in at the very bottom? You'll notice a slightly different stretch if you do. And then inhale again. Can we roll open that top shoulder to say hi to the sun? Exhale, one last reach over, stretch out the body. And then inhale to come back up to center. Lift the gaze at the very top and then exhale, draw the hands down the center of the body. Taking a moment here, Ooh, release the shoulders away from the ears. Find your lovely breath. And then here we go. Start to walk those hands forward now as we come to our all fours position. Have a little wiggle from side to side when you get there. Just iron out any kinks in the body. Maybe if you're doing this in the morning from your sleep. And we'll come into some cat cows to get us started. So wrists are directly under our shoulders and knees directly under our hips. Fingers nice and spread. And here we go. Inhale, drop the belly and lift the gaze. Cow pose. Exhale, push the ground away as you part those shoulder blades to the sky. Cat pose. Inhale to come through. Let your breath initiate this movement now. Exhale, tuck the tailbone underneath. Spine is lovely and round. Shoo. Inhale to come through. Maybe smile at the very top. And then exhale, push it away from you. Belly buttons are spine. And then come back to your tabletop position. Lovely. From here, we're just going to walk our knees back now on our mat and walk our hands forward a little bit. You can take them a little bit wider if you want. And then as we exhale, we're going to slowly bow our chest towards the floor to come into our puppy pose. Lovely. So from here, we're aiming for our hips to still be on top of our knees. So just have a little check that they are. And we're opening the shoulders and the chest even more here by coming into this pose. Now, perhaps your forehead comes down to the floor quite easily. If not, grab your trusty block. Oh, very red and blue. I'm going for the United Kingdom flag today. Didn't realize. And just place your forehead onto your block. Hands can still be stretched out in front. Can even come to those lovely tents that we had before. Ooh. Or if you want a little bit more, you could grab both of your blocks and bring your elbows onto them. Hands come into prayer, our Anjali Mudra. And let your chest bow through as we open up this way. Oh, yeah. Come into your breath. Let's take one more inhale in. And then as you exhale out, releasing the hands now and the palms to the floor. Just release those blocks from underneath you. Plant the forearms and we'll start to shift the body forward now, coming onto the belly and into our Sphinx pose. So elbows are directly underneath our shoulders. Palms are nice and planted. Fingers are spread. Press into the tops of the feet here. Knees are nice and pulled up. Good, lovely. And on, or as you inhale, should I say, think of pressing into the floor even more through your palms and your elbows and let that open your collarbone here. So instead of the shoulders being rounded like this, we're thinking of, again, just rotating our upper arm bone, our shoulder head round the outside and sliding the shoulders down the back. <sighs> 
core is engaged here. Take one more inhale now. Can you press into the forearms and the palms and grow even taller through the top of the head? And then exhale as we take the elbows nice and wide and bow the body all the way down. Lovely work. Here we go. Take the fingers off our mats now. So really lovely and wide. And again, we're going to bring them to tents. So fingertips coming to the ground. Bring your forehead to come onto your mat. Elbows are nice and high. So almost like a little grasshopper or something. I'm going to take a few flows to come up this way, just giving ourselves a little bit more space. So first thing as we inhale, think of bringing those shoulder blades to kiss together as we press into the fingers now and wave the body up and then dropping the elbows where you get there to lift the chest. Again, relax those shoulders away from the ears here. So dropping the elbows is really going to help so we don't end up being here. And then as we exhale, send the elbows nice and wide again as we bow the body down. Ooh, lovely shoulder stretch. Here we go. Inhale, shoulder blades kiss together as we rise up, drop the elbows, shoulders relax and lift the heart. Exhale, wave the body down, elbows nice and wide. Ooh, all the way down. One more time. Here we go. Inhale, waving up like water, lift at the very top, shoulders relax. And exhale, float the body down onto your belly again. Lovely. From here now, we're going to bring our hands, hands and arms, onto the floor. I'm going to come to the right side first. So bringing your right hand out an arm. So it's like almost in like a goalpost position, palm facing down. Good, lovely. Your left hand now is going to come onto the fingertips to help you a little bit. And we're going to roll onto the right side of our body. And as we do that, I'm just going to demonstrate with this hand. We're going to start to walk and creep the hand out as much as we can. So the shoulder isn't sinking down into the floor. Again, we're thinking of lifting it away from the floor to create some space. So rolling onto the right side of the body as you start to walk your right hand out. Now, think of lifting the right shoulder up and off the floor. It should feel a lovely stretch on the very front of the shoulder and the arm and the chest here. If you want a little bit more just healthy and easy pressure maybe, we can lift the top leg, so bending the top leg in and just let it either hang over the back a little bit just to add a little bit of weight or maybe your toe, your tippy toe comes to rest on the floor. You could even put a block there if that feels good. Again, just breathing nice and deeply. And just let your breath guide you. If all of a sudden your breaths become very short and sharp, then it's maybe telling you that you've gone a little bit too far. So just ease off a tad. Good, lovely, nice and gentle. One more inhale in. And then exhale to slowly, slowly does it. Roll back onto your front. Ooh, have a little wiggle. And then we'll come to the other side. So left arm comes out this time. Palm is planted into our goal post. Bring your right hand to fingertips and then slowly roll onto the left side this time. Again, start to creep that left hand out to the side, just so that the shoulder is nice and lifted off the floor. Oh, and again, if you want a little bit more, just maybe bending the top leg and let it hang over the top or maybe touch the floor. Add a little bit more weight. Come into your breath, nice, easy inhales through the nose. And exhales back out through the nose. 
Lovely. Take one more inhale in here. And very slowly to exhale, release the leg and roll back onto the belly. Ooh. From here, bringing our hands underneath our shoulders now as we inhale, come back to the knees and exhale just for a moment, pushing back to our child's pose. Ooh, just have a little stretch out there. Maybe swaying the sit bones from side to side a little bit. Reaching the hands forward. And then when you're ready, curling up just to meet me back in your tabletop pose. Knees under our hips and wrists are directly under our shoulders. Lovely. Good. As we inhale now, we're going to float the left leg out long and then float the right arm out long. So we've got one lovely long line here from the very tips of our fingers to the very tips of our toes. Make sure that core is engaged. So sending your belly button right the way up to your spine instead of sinking in your back. Lovely, take one more inhale in here. And then as we exhale, we're gonna to start to bend the left knee now as we draw the heel into the bum and take the right arm round to reach back. Now, if this is where you get to, then this is absolutely perfectly fine. If you find that you get there and you can find your foot or maybe your toes, then just take hold of it wherever you can. Again, if then just here feels really great for you and you can start to feel an opening in your shoulder, then just staying here. If you want a little bit more, start to kick the foot into the hand at the same time as kicking the hand into the foot and see if it raises the leg any amount. Ooh. Should feel maybe, maybe probably a lovely opening. Ooh in the right shoulder here, in the right chest. <sighs> Find your gaze on the floor or maybe lift it a little bit if you want. Take one more inhale to lift a little bit more and then exhale to release, try and control, bringing the arm back round, leg extends and then floating both of them down to your tabletop. Oh my, have a really good wiggle when you get there. And then we'll come to the other side. So finding your tabletop, your version, always. Core is engaged, so send your belly button to spine. Here we go. And then inhale, we raise the right leg off the floor this time. And then float the left arm up. So we've got our position. Good, find your focal point on the floor. Wiggle those fingers, wiggle those toes. One long line. Take one more. Inhale, think of growing even longer. And then exhale as we draw the right heel to the bum and take the fingers round to reach to the back. Again, if this is enough, then stay here finding your balance. But if you can perhaps grab the foot or the toes, then here we go, kicking the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot, seeing if it raises any amount. Using the foot that is on the floor also to help you with your balance here. But feel that lovely expansion across the chest. Oh yeah. Pushing away from the floor with your right hand. Take one more inhale. Can we open even more? And then exhale, letting go, nice and controlled if you can, feel the shake. Core to spine, and then exhale to float them both back down. Well done, have a wiggle, always a wiggle. And then we'll tuck our toes underneath, friends, and send the sit bones lovely and high into your first downward facing dog. Oh yeah. Do whatever you need to do in your downward dog today. Maybe take the heels both one way and looking under the armpit, bending those knees. 
Good, lovely. And then generously bend the knee, lifting the heels off. Looking to the top of your mat and take a few steps or maybe a little bunny hop to meet your hands at the very top of your mat. Soften in the knees now, feet are hips width apart and just take your hands behind you, interlacing your fingers and then straightening your arms any amount. Let your hands be nice and heavy, almost over your head and to the floor. And then just have a little play around here with maybe straightening one leg at a time. Maybe straighten the right leg first if you keep the left one bent, tilting your body to open up to the right side, to the sky. And then exhale, bending the right knee, come back through center. And then straightening the left leg any amount if you can. Connecting right shoulder to right knee and opening up the left side this time. Oh, lovely. Exhale, bend the left knee to come back through center. Good, lovely. Connect your belly button to your spine now and root down through those feet. We're going to roll up to standing through each vertebrae for five, four, three, two. Head comes last and one. Release those hands. Inhale, float them up. Wow. The gravity. Oh, they're really floating. Lift the gaze and exhale, draw them down to your heart center. And here we go, feel those feet nicely rooted on the floor and inhale, bend the knees, sweep the fingers down to come up to the sky, lift the gaze. Exhale, bend everything as we fall down over the legs, deep forward fold. Shoo. Inhale, create some space, halfway lift. And then exhale, plant the hands now as you step the left leg back long on the mat and drop the left knee. Lovely, just check your alignment of your front knee over your front ankle. And as we inhale now, reach the fingers up to the sky as we come to our low lunge. Good, press into the top of the back foot here. And maybe send the hips a little bit forward and down now as we come to a little low lunge. Good, lovely. From here, start to twist the body round to the side now as we take the right fingertips to the very back of the mat and the left fingertips to the front, just to a mini, mini twist. Again, think of expanding across that chest. Can you maybe even look to the back hand a little bit? And then inhale, bringing everything up to the sky. Exhale to float the hands down, frame the front foot now. Tuck the back toe under and raise the back knee off the mat. Here we go, push away from the floor, send the right leg to the left and straight away, inhale, raise the sit bones high and exhale to draw the heels down towards the floor. Whew. Lovely, take an inhale in here. Exhale everything out of the mouth. Whew. Nice now. Now either coming back down to the knees now to untuck the toes or raising the heels off and waving the body forward to your high plank pose to take our flow from here. Here we go. Inhale to look and shift forward. Exhale, hug the elbows in as we lower the body down to the ground and untuck the toes when you get there. Lovely, from here we're gonna bring our left hand in front of us now onto the mat and we're gonna bring our forehead down onto the top of our hand. Good, lovely. Now as you inhale, we're bending the right knee as we draw the right heel to the glute. From here, take your right arm now and again, either reaching back towards the leg. If this is where you get to, it's a really great place to be. If you have a strap nearby, this is also very, very helpful for this. We can wrap around our foot for this next little bit here to come into our one-legged bow pose. 
If you can take hold of the foot on the outside here, knees can either be together or a little bit apart. Left leg is also nice and active here. Core is engaged, we're pressing our pubic bone down into the floor. And as we inhale, same again here, kick the right foot into the hand at the same time as the hand into the foot. Should feel a lovely opening across the front of the right arm and shoulder here. Just breathing nice and deeply. One more inhale, can you kick it up even more? And then exhale to release it down as we release the leg, bring the right hand and then the left hand in and under our shoulders. Hug the elbows in now as we inhale, rise up to cobra. And then exhale, float the body down. Good from here, push back now through the knees, tuck the toes underneath, send the sit bones high and exhale, downward facing dog. Good, lovely. Take any movement you need here in your downward dog. And then we'll inhale in all together. And then as we exhale, shift and step the left foot through the hands now at the top of the mat and then drop the right knee. Untuck the toe, check your alignment when you get there. And here we go, inhale now as we reach the fingers up to low lunge pose. Press the top of the back foot into the mat and maybe send the hips a little bit forward and down. Shoo. Palms facing in towards one another. Take one more inhale here, lift up. And then as we exhale, we're opening the body to the left side this time. Left fingertips reaching the back of the mat and right fingers to the front. Still hugging those inner thighs in together so we're not splaying that left leg out. Say hi to the sun. Good, lovely. Can we look back as we inhale? And exhale, twist that little bit more. Here we go. Inhale now, reach both hands up to the sky and exhale, float them down to frame the foot. Tuck the back toe under, raise the back knee off the mat. Here we go, push away from the floor. Send the left foot to the right, high plank. Inhale, let the sit bones come high to the sky. And exhale, ease the heels down to the floor. Hmm. Lovely. Take a little pedal. Take your dog out for a walk. And then again, either coming down to the knees first or waving through to plank and take your flow. Inhale, look and shift forward. Exhale, hug the elbows in the lower of the body down to the mat. This time bringing the right hand underneath our head. Elbow is nice and wide. Let the forehead rest on top of it now. Right leg is pulled up, top of the foot is pressing in to the mat. And as we inhale, we're drawing the left heel to the bum this time. Reaching the left hand back and seeing if we can grab the foot. Again, if we can't, no worries. And we wanna stay here, this is really great. Keep reaching those fingers back. If we can take hold of the foot anywhere or even with your strap. Here we go, pressing the pubic bone and the hips into the floor, glutes are engaged. On an inhale now, kick the foot into the hand and the hand into the foot and see if it raises anywhere off the mat. If not, do not worry. Keep pressing that left hip bone into the floor here and start to feel that lovely open through the left shoulder. Oh yeah, Whew. press that right hand into the mat as we do this. Take one more inhale, can we lift even higher? Open up and then exhale, float it down now as we bring both hands under the shoulders. Here we go, elbows tucked in, inhale now as we rise the body up to cobra. And exhale as we float the body down. Shoo. Hands come back now and inhale, push back through the knees, tuck the toes underneath and send the sit bones nice and high. Downward facing dog. Lovely, take an inhale in here. 
Exhale it out of the mouth. <sighs> Inhale now, generously bend the knees, lift the heels. Look to the top of the mat and take a few steps or a little bunny hop to meet your hands. Here we go. Inhale, find some space, halfway lift. And exhale, bend over the body, deep forward fold. Bend the knees even more. Inhale as we sweep the fingers up to the sky. And then exhale, draw them down to our heart center. Lovely, here we go. Inhale now, sweep the fingers down to come up. Extended mountain pose, lift the heart. And exhale, bow the body down over the legs, deep forward fold. Inhale now, halfway lift, come to the fingertips or draw the hands up the leg. And then exhale, fold the body down, step the left leg back long on the mat and then ground the left heel. Coming to our warrior legs. Just have a feel, maybe the foot needs to be out a little bit more. Plant into that right foot now. And as we inhale, reach the fingers up to the sky as we come to our warrior one. So we've got a lovely bend in the front knee. Just make sure your knee is traveling over the middle of your toes. And if we can, we're aiming for both hips to be facing the very top of our mat. Lovely, on an exhale now, reach the hands round the back and interlace those fingers together. Inhale to roll the tops of the shoulders back and let the shoulder blades travel down your spine, lift the heart. Good, the back knee is nice and pulled up here and we're pushing out through the outer edge of the back foot. Good, we're not here for long. Take one more inhale, lift the chest even more. Now nice and slowly as we exhale, we're gonna see if we can bow the body forward now over the right leg. Keeping those hands clasped behind. Core is engaged here. Use that back foot, push out through the outer edge of the back foot. Feel that burn in the right hamstring. I got you, I feel it too. Lovely, take one more inhale. Can you roll the shoulders back together even more? And as you exhale, flush the hands down and reach up to the sky, inhale in. And then exhale as we float the hands down to frame the foot, pivot on the back leg and come straight away now to join your left leg to the right at the top of your mat. Here we go, inhale, halfway lift, your version. Exhale, deep forward fold, Shoo. Bend the knees and inhale, sweep the fingers up to the sky. Exhale, draw them down to your heart center. <sighs> Bending the knees now, inhale, sweep the fingers down to come up, lift the heart. Exhale, slice it down the body, fold over the legs. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, soften the knees, plant the hands, step the right leg back along this time, and then plant the right heel. Again, just have a little play with maybe bringing the right foot round a little bit and then planting through the left sole of the foot. Take an inhale to raise the body up into our warrior one. Again, aiming for both hips to be parallel to the front of our mat. So maybe you need to bring, give your legs a little bit more width. Push out through the outer edge of the back foot here. And we've got a lovely bend in that front knee. Take an inhale in here, reach those fingers up. And then exhale, rotate the arms round the back, interlace the fingers, but put the other hand on top this time. She's crazy, feels so weird. I know. Take an inhale now as we roll the shoulders back, draw the hands down the leg as we lift the heart. Oh yeah. Oh, breathing's gonna be so good after this. Good, take one more inhale in here. And then connect your belly button to spine as we start to slowly forward bend over that front leg. Think of those hands almost traveling up to the sky here. Use both feet. Again, now feeling the left glute and hamstring turn on. 
Here we go, one more inhale. Inhale, can you rotate the shoulders back even more? Let them kiss together. And then exhale as you release the fingers, let them flush through and inhale the very top, reach the hands up. Exhale, softly float them down to frame the foot. Pivot on the back leg and this time push away from the floor. Send the left foot to the right and inhale, shift and look forward. Take your flow. Coming down to the knees if you want. Inhale, rise the body up to cobra. And then exhale to float the body down. This time from here, we're gonna come into our full bow pose. Just be careful if you need any support under here, then maybe just fold a blanket just for a little bit of cushioning if you're quite bony. We're gonna bring our forehead down to the mat now and on an inhale, Bend in both knees this time, drawing the heels towards the glutes. Then one at a time, just taking our hands back, seeing if we can reach our feet. Now here, a few options. You can either take hold of the tops of your feet, or if you want to flex your feet and grab onto your ankles, you can do that as well. Just find out where feels good for you. Lovely, here we go. So knees again, there can be a little gap between your knees, not too much. We're kind of aiming them to be as close as they can, but a little gap is fine. Imagine you've got a block between them. And squeezing those glutes together. So glutes are engaged. Think of pressing the pelvic bone into the floor now. And here we go. As we inhale, roll the tops of the shoulders back, kick both feet into the hands as you kick the hands into the feet and see if it raises you up any amount. Remember, it doesn't have to look like mine. Mine will not look like yours. That is a-okay. Take a few breaths here. Take an inhale in one more time and then exhale to float the body down. Just release the legs. Bring the hands in front of you and just rest the forehead on top of the hands. Oh yeah, can maybe rock the hips from side to side. Feel any sensations. And then nice and gently when you're ready, just bringing your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale to push back through the knees and exhale to come back to your beloved child's loveliness pose. This time, just bring both arms to lay by your legs, palms facing up. Let your shoulders round here. Forehead is resting on your mat. Lovely. Then when you're ready, just bring your hands underneath your shoulders and very gently pushing yourself up, rolling through the spine to sit on your heels. Oh, yeah. Good, from here we're gonna come round to sit on our sit bones now. As we come to take our final pose here. So just let both legs come out in front of you nice and long. And we're gonna rock over to the right side now as we, sorry, I lost my mind for a moment then. We're firstly gonna bring the left foot over the top of the right leg to place the sole of the foot on the floor and rocking over to the right as we bend the underneath leg and draw the foot around to the outside of the left hip. Same then with the top leg. So with the left leg, we're gonna try and draw the foot around to the outside of the right hip. When you get there, just have a little bit of a wiggle. This can feel a little bit weird at first. If your leg is here, don't worry at all. Maybe grab a block or a cushion for a little bit of support here. Whatever feels good for you, of course. In the full expression of this pose, um, our knees are in a line, but we're no way thinking of being there today, so don't worry. Have a wiggly, wiggly woo. Good, and we're aiming to come to sit equally on both sit bones here. So if that does mean bringing this leg up and back a little bit, then 
do that, I'm gonna do that here too. Lovely, then as we inhale now, we're gonna raise both arms out to the side, palms facing forward. And as we exhale, as we bring them forward to the front, we're gonna bring the right arm underneath the left, bending now at the elbows and seeing if we can interlace our arms and our hands to come into a lovely bind from our eagle pose, so our eagle arms. Don't worry if the palms of the hands don't touch. Maybe the backs of the hands come together really well or maybe the pinky comes to the thumb. Again, just find your version. This is quite intense after all the shoulder opening we've just done, but come to a place where you can feel it, but it's not too much. Close your eyes when you get there and just use your Exhales to try and soften your shoulders away from your ears. So instead of being here, maybe release the bind a little bit just to come to a bit of soften. Lovely, take one more inhale in. And then exhale to release that bind nice and slow. We'll do the same with the legs now, rocking over to the right as we release the right leg from underneath and bring the left leg on top. Give it a hug in and then let it go out long. Have a little shake and we'll come to the other side. So hugging the right knee in this time, taking the foot over the top of the leg and then just rocking over to the left as we bend the left leg and bring the foot round to the outside of the hip. Same on the other side and again just have a little wiggle until you can find what is right for you in your body. I sometimes find that taking hold of the ankles just to sit them there. Again if this is like not feeling good at all blocks can go anywhere. You can sit on them. This just releases any pressure under the knee Everywhere we love blocks. Sit bones are nice and grounded and we're going for a lovely long spine. Take an inhale in to raise the arms out to the side, palms facing forward. And as we exhale to gather in all the positive energy, we bring the left arm underneath this time, bend at the elbows and see if we can go for that bind on the other side. Remember, both sides of your body are very different. So if it doesn't quite reach as much as it did, then not to worry. Again, use your exhales to soften those shoulders. And close your eyes here. See if you can raise your elbows, maybe to the height of your shoulders. Take one more inhale in here, friends. And then exhale, release that bind, release the hands. Oh, feel that flush of energy. And then we'll come over to the left, release the underneath leg and then give the right knee a hug in and send it out nice and long. Have a good wiggle of both legs. Oh yeah. And then we'll come to meet in our seat. I'm a poet. To close our wonderful practice together. Take a deep inhale through the nose with me. And exhale it out of the mouth with a sigh. Let your shoulders soften. And from here, I'll invite you to draw your palms together at your heart. Thank yourselves for showing up for day two of your wonderful challenge and working towards finding your inner dancer. Thank you so much for joining me. 
And from my heart to yours, and from my home to yours, namaste. I hope you enjoyed day two, lovely friends. Thank you so much. Remember, you can come back and do these videos as many times as you want. And I can't wait to welcome you to day three. I will see you very, very soon. Mm -hmm.